so I want to decrease throttle. Yep. Um. Autopilot disengaged. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm still going way too fast. Um. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm still going way too fast. Fuck. Yep. <laughs> I've totally forgot about landing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's fine. I want to stay here as a sentry. Uh, but I, I, I did find, find you again. Um. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> what the? Oh, okay. Yeah, I just... I just, <laughs> I just saw that. The little ball of fire. Certain experiences feel like they were made for VR. Outside of social games like VR chat, First person shooters like Pavlov. The big zest! Oh! Zesty zest boy! Mind blowing single player experiences like Half Life Alex. Flying games have to be one of the best things you can try with your VR setup. That is, if you are already used to playing VR. You'll need to bring a strong stomach if not. I'm trying to do it. Oh, have you lost an engine, mate? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, no, you're just, you know, you're just burning a bit. Wait, hang on. I actually can't regain control, so I think I might have. It's not telling me, though. Um, My engine RPM is both, both way down. Elite Dangerous has so far been one of my favorite flying games, albeit with an extremely steep learning curve. The same applies to VTOL VR, the subject of today's video. The one thing that helps with Elite Dangerous is the fact that you're in space, which limits the amount of things you can crash into. In VTOL, however, you have to fight against gravity and stupidity. Just like you would in real life. There is a still present tough learning curve, but luckily I was helped through this by a German pilot friend of mine, Hans. Yes, uh, we, th there's a briefing, new team, pilots, you and I of course, the entire team, tasked to uh, carry out an attack against the enemy. We use cooperation and the advanced group. I already got that. Um, first objective, destroy the enemy mobile air defense unit, um, basically ground, ground rocket pod thing in the jig. Where's, uh, where's my, oh yeah, I see, okay, cool. Alright, follow my start startup sequence. On your right, turn the battery on. Main battery. Then right of the battery is something called the APU. Turn that on. Okay. Right, the APU is spinning up now. Now you can switch the engines on. And after you switch them on, you can turn these little red flaps down. Congrats, you just started your engines. Okay, uh, then Down. it's... My HUD isn't on. How do I turn that on? Yes, uh, that, that, that's what I'm getting at now. Oh, I see that. Um, so, um, we're going from top, uh, from bottom to top. So at the very bottom, in the middle, you have two screens with two turns. The sheer adrenaline you feel when you finally manage to lift this $50 million piece of machinery off the ground, briefly, only to stall and come crashing to the ground below while a judgmental voice flashes lights and screams warnings at you. This is why I love VR. Fuck. You're going a bit backward now. And now you're yawing to death. But that was okay. Alpha 1-1 one one reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> What's going Alpha on? Alpha one, 1-1 one reporting for fucking repairs, actually. <laughs> Is there like a brake or like, can you turn the rotors off? Um, if you were to take the throttle lever, you were messing with the controller lever, uh, with the collector lever, but the... Brake engine failure. Oh, what, what are you doing? I, I'm not touching it anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, you had too much collector. Right, um... Did I not put it down all the way? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's stuck right, on a bit. Let me see if I can save this. Um, we got a tail failure. failure. When you do finally learn to keep these things afloat, is afloat the right word anyway you still get plenty of warnings I'm not invisible to this fucking missile <laughs> get fucked. these ones just mean there's missiles approaching rapidly from which direction fuck knows 
Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Uh, what? I got hit, but I'm fine. Spend some time figuring out one of these many different monitors and buttons, and I think you'll be able to tell. Maybe the radar will tell you, maybe not. When you do inevitably die, you get to practice flipping the 500 different switches in the correct order to be able to take off again. All jokes aside, dying over and over is what finally made the controls sink in for me. And it does make you feel incredibly powerful when you have full control over the jets. And you're not just spinning and trying not to crash. Don't get me wrong, I still don't know what half of these buttons do, but I know enough to make this thing move take off and land again, and that's what counts. At the point I'm at now, I genuinely think I know enough to be able to take over a plane in real life if the pilot's in trouble. I've crashed into mountains so many times in VTOL that I would be cool as a cucumber in any real flight disaster. I know that actual pilots probably studied for years to be able to fly real planes, but unless they've flown F-45A stealth jets in VR like me, then they can scoot over. The multiplayer functionality of this game is some of the most fun I've had in VR. The missions are loads of fun to play with friends. One we played involved taking out SAM sites and ground targets before making a run on an enemy airbase, which, again, makes you feel like you're the ghost of Kiev or something. Myself and Hans are planning on making one where there's just like 200 enemy fighter jets. I think that'll be a pretty fun video. If you're into this sort of thing and want to skip flight school and go straight to the cockpit, then I'd highly recommend VTOL VR. With that being said, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out with some funny clips from both mine and Rusty's perspective so you can see my growth. We've got enough recordings to probably make a few parts, so I might upload some more soon. This video is not sponsored, obviously. I only have 300 subscribers, who I do love very dearly. However, I do want to take a moment to plug another channel of mine and Rusty's, because trying to grow two tiny channels instead of one seems like a great idea. This channel I'm talking about is called The Cockpit VR Podcast, where we talk about politics, finances, how to pick up women. Just kidding. But eventually, we'll be streaming on a hopefully regular basis, so I'd appreciate you checking it out, maybe subscribing, maybe hanging out on the stream. Link's in the description. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. I actually suck at this. I can't even take off, bro. <laughs> Can I, uh, is the other runway, if I turn that way, could I manually take off and... Uh, I've not tried it, but, you know. It might be worth a try. Uh, yeah. Sure, try. Go um, full flaps, move as far to one edge of the runway as you can, and just full blast. Yeah, fuck it. I know this is against protocol, but... I'm not a man who abides by protocol. Okay, full flaps. You're a man, aren't you a fucking lemon? <laughs> I'm a lemon man. I'm pulling up as hard as I can in full throttle. Come on, come on! <laughs> oh, I'm up! Stall warning, fuck, fuck, fuck. How do I stop that? I'm, I'm in the air, yeah, I'm in the air. I mean, you need more speed if you don't want to. Damn, okay. okay. Check gear, fuck, my gear's down. Shit, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> America. <laughs> you, you did it, damn. All right, you need to do work, dude. Like these just are right here already. Our overload is about to die. Yeah, bro. I'm, take off. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying my best. Trust the German to like offload all the work to the British guy. 
no, I'm taking off immediately right now. I see I don't have enough time. There's already a missile going for him. Oh shit. Here we go again, I guess. I'm on, I'm on the tail of one, but there's one to my left that I've, I've not targeted yet. Mm. Alright, where's our overlord? Um, I'm switching targets to the left one. Uh, I took out one plane, actually, and that's it was yeah, you. I, I saw that, I saw that. We get dirty, and the world stays clean. That's the mission. Oh, well, that, that was acceptable. For, for for a newbie. Okay, I'm gonna circle these buildings and then land on the other side. Where um, how about actually circle to to our right and try okay. to land some place where there's just flat area to make it a bit easier. So like here, anywhere. Okay. You don't you don't need to like select a specific spot. Just try to make it smooth without difficulties. Yeah. And there we go. You bled speed. There we go. Still going a bit backward now. And now you're yawing to death. But that was okay. Alpha 1 1 reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> Alpha 1-1 one, one reporting for fucking repairs, actually. <laughs> Is it like a brake or like, can you turn the rotors off? Um, if you were to take the throttle lever, you were messing with the controller lever, uh, with the collector lever, but... Oh, what, what are you doing? I, I'm not touching it anymore. But... Um, yeah, you had too much collector. Right, um... Do you want to put it down all the way? Uh, yeah, yeah, right, let, let me see if I can save this. Um, we got a tail failure. And, um, what, what, are, what are our... Okay, engine riders... Is, is struggling. Can I... 